Hello, hello everyone. It's me, Jessica. Um, today we're going to dive into a little speed renovation or speed furnishing, I guess I should call it. Yeah, speed furnishing of our new house that we're, we're going to be basically um, moving into and getting acclimated over the next uh, couple of parts, but for our legacy family. So I'm really excited to kind of get everything set up a little bit better. And honestly, like I'm leaving it in a place where I'm probably not happy with the kitchen, honestly. Actually, I know I'm not, um, but I just got to a point where I was like a little frustrated and we don't have the money to really worry about it. So we'll worry about that later. Um, but I'm gonna go ahead and get us on into game so that we can do the little build and everything. And then I will meet you guys again at the end for a tour. All right, guys, we are going to dive right into just kind of laying some furniture around. Um, I built the shell in my spare time um, because, of course, I am very indecisive. Um, but you can tell I'm indecisive also by the fact that I move a bunch of stuff around quite a bit here and there. And I say a bunch of stuff. We don't have a bunch of stuff, um, but I did definitely end up moving some stuff around here and there. So anyways, I hope you guys like the style of the house that I went for. Um, I kind of mixed like a farmhouse coastal vibe in my head. We are in Brindleton Bay. We are doing the vet career, um, lots of things like that. And uh, yeah, I went ahead and I sold the kitchen cabinets there because the, you, you know how like when you place cabinets out of your inventory, even if they were like the small cabinet or the corner cabinet, it will place as a regular cabinet and then you can't like fix it. It doesn't give you the option to fix it back to a small cabinet or whatever. Um, so I essentially, I just decided that I was going to go and sell them all because I know we're short for money anyways. Um, and that's kind of a fun little game that you can play as I'm doing this is you can actually watch the money in the bottom left hand corner. Um, I am constantly playing this game of having right around a thousand simoleons probably um it was honestly quite the struggle just trying to manage like everything because when i placed the house on this lot i did not have like the scheme of wallpapers picked out or anything like that so effectively i was kind of like behind financially a little more than i i realized i was uh i think originally like when i placed the house and I was like going into the episode uh, before this trying to like purchase this house and everything I think I like felt like we had more money to work with uh, and realistically we're like barely making it barely making the cut you know what I mean but uh, we're here we've got this beautiful house and we're, we're gonna build it up so that you know it's it's a goal at the end of the day we have set a goal for ourselves I am currently liking the idea of keeping the vet clinic on our home lot uh for right now i'm gonna go ahead and stick with that idea i've been like really bouncing around with how much mods and custom content can i actually have in my game before it starts becoming an issue um and i'm not really sure to be to be quite frank i've been having some issues but i don't know if that's just like part of the learning curve with getting used to using custom content because i've had to make sure that i go in and i kind of clear out any old custom content of course that maybe i'm not using um or even organize it kind of I, I don't know in my head i'm just trying to do things to maybe make it easier for myself to declutter anytime that i'd like to so um, but I don't know. I'm just, uh, I'm enjoying myself in the, the PC world of playing Sims. And so I just keep trying to reel myself in and be realistic and like use the game mostly for what it is intended for. Right. Um, but I don't know. I, I'm just going to lean into it for right now. And we're going to try, um, to keep the vet clinic on our home lot. Um, so we'll see. I'm not really sure. Um, I'm really excited to play again because I want to make some money for us. Uh, so honestly, my plan was to probably open up the vet clinic quite a bit in this next part. So we'll definitely test how everything is working uh, at that time pretty well. Um, but yeah, um, I'm trying to think if I have any like things that I want to share as far as life updates go. And I think the reality is that I really need to 
uh, like just sit down and record this vlog that I've been kind of putting off. Um, I think I just have like a bit of anxiety behind it. Um, I definitely do, but that's besides the point. Um, I, I very much just, um, I'm honestly, I feel like I lost my train of thought there for a second, but, um, my life update would probably just be that like, I, there's too much to share. That's the thing. I just need to do a vlog. So we're, we're, we'll talk about the build. We will get back to the build here. So we have four bedrooms upstairs and that is basically where like everyone's sleeping quarter is going to be. Uh, so we have a room for Mantis, a room for Ridge and a room for the parents. And then that left a, an extra bedroom. Uh, so currently we're going to use that extra bedroom as like a study or playroom kind of. Um, and then everything downstairs is definitely like the main living quarters. Um, there's no bedrooms on the main floor. Um, and then there's a basement. I went ahead and I put like all of our skill building stuff down there. We can make uh, the the nectar collector, ne nectar collector? Yeah, the nectar making machine is down there. I feel like that was a really weird t way to say that, the nectar making machine. Uh, it's not a machine because you get in there with your own two feet and your own two feet are not a machine. Typically, I mean, I guess they could be, um, but my own two feet are definitely not a machine. So, um, uh, the poor tent. I moved around that play tent so much and then in the end, I ended up just selling it. Poor thing. Uh, we'll get it back eventually, but when I tell you we were struggling, uh, two, 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 right now in the video, by the way, down there in the money bar. Um, but when I tell you we were struggling for cash, I seriously mean it. Like I was on the actual struggle bus. Um, but I think it all worked out in the end, and I'm just really excited to get to this point of like making some money uh, and definitely like growing the lot. I ended up, uh, you'll see this at the very end of it because I do a proper walkthrough because I did a lot of stuff off camera. Um, but my point in that is that I used a lot of debug landscaping to make the house look maybe a bit more uh, like it's not just like a brand new build smack dab just no bushes you know what i mean like no grass no bushes it's weird i don't like that i don't like it at all so i use some debug stuff not a whole lot just enough to make it look like a bit spruced up um but yeah i don't know we've we've got all the important things uh, I, I would say most of the important things. I kept like our mementos as far as like the fish on the wall there. Um, and just a, a lot of that stuff. I tried to make sure that I kept things that I felt like, I don't know, served a part of our story. So, um, what else? Cause we, we just aged up our toddler. If you do not follow the story, um, this is for my legacy family. I guess, um, that's probably in the title, but um, yeah, for my legacy family. So we just aged up uh, one of our Sims into a toddler and I'm really excited to be able to like work on skills and get them closer to being a child. Uh, yeah, because, uh, you know, obviously ch children are funner to play with and this is also our heir. Uh, so I'm very excited to get our heir a little bit older so that we can kind of get to know them and you know, uh, just some of those things as far as like the personality, figuring out the traits and what their story is going to be like. Um, yeah, I don't know. I'm just, I'm, I'm very excited. I feel like I'm probably repeating myself a bit there, but uh, I really am. It's been a long time since I've been able to like kind of consistently upload and I've just been having a lot of fun doing it, but off to the tour with you guys. Okay, guys. This is kind of where the house is sitting at right now. And it honestly, it, I know it looks a lot different than when I left it from the speed build. So I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna take you guys on uh, a proper tour, if you will. You already know quite well what the outside of the house looks like. So I'm honestly, I'm not gonna spend a whole lot of time showing that part. Uh, if anything, oh goodness. If anything, we will just kind of peek around this corner over here really quick and I will show you guys. I mean, you, again, I think that I already showed off the side of the house a little bit, um, but effectively moving at the speed of a turtle, we have a trail that will lead around to the side of our house here. Uh, 
and I went ahead, I'm not gonna like get us over there. You can see it. You see the blue dog? I put the like the vet symbol on the side of the building so that as people like walked up to the side of the building they can kind of like see. We can make the vet clinic more obvious whenever we get more money. Uh, but yeah, this is all debug landscaping. I wanted to make sure that we had um, like some sort of allure or uh, aesthetic of plants around so that's what I did and then as you walk in you have a little corner to put your shoes and check yourself over here and then we have the stairwell that is definitely um, I don't know like I I'll say that I like the the setup here the aesthetic that is kind of going on for the house as far as uh, the layout if you will the styling choice of like building I went for um, I don't even know what I went for it was very much like farmhouse meets coastal in my head um, so that's kind of what I ended up with here um, we have some like pet stuff this is a bathroom I guess I can show you guys in here there's not really much to see it's quite literally just yeah that's that's it that is it um, but then on in here you can see this is the kitchen that I have set up beautiful 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 um, window over here to our left I really love this I think that it's gonna work out in the end it will look great uh, but right now I am NOT happy with the fact that this cabinet and sink does not go well together and I didn't I just didn't want to spend any more time I was struggling between like the tone of the walls and the tone of the floors clashing with like different colored woods and so I wanted to keep it kind of light and airy with the purple appliances they're, they're not a matching set either so we're just kind of struggling as far as like having a uh, it's not even picture worthy right now you know what I mean like that just is the house currently. I will take a picture of it, I guess, but got to remember where you came from. But yeah, this is the like a little entryway here. Um, we have our dining area with our family picture. I plan on eventually putting uh, a fireplace in this region. I would like to basically have it set up uh, on the, the back right side here. That's kind of why I left no windows on this area because I'm envisioning like a big bookshelf fireplace wall next to a better TV setup. But for right now, she's cute. She's doing the trick. We've got our toy box. Uh, and outside we have a small little setup to eat. Uh, we do have uh, the solar panels and like the swing and stuff. That's that's really about it. I tried to kind of like sell anything that we were not using a lot because realistically like uh, we're, we're kind of struggling for money right now. Is this plant like in the middle of the room? It is. How funny. I mean it's kind of not in a bad spot but I also don't think that it's in the best spot. I just I'm trying to get some screenshots with you guys as well. I won't lie. So um, on the other side, I'm just going to go ahead and kind of like go around this way for the vet clinic because I guess you guys probably do want to see how I furnished the, that because um, I think all I did in the speed build was a little bit of the floor plan. So when you come around here, I've got a little bit of the like kind of mushrooms, flowers, all sorts. I kept the pink vibe going on. There's a little Kit Kat box right here tucked in uh, and yeah, the, the symbol for our vet clinic over here. And then as you come inside, there is the check-in stand here as well as like the little area where you can hang your leash. I'm sorry, I'm trying to get a better view for you guys. Um, and that's, I mean, that's kind of, I guess, the start of that area. Um, we just have a very small weight lobby, again, with the big windows. I tried to implement some big, beautiful windows here and there. They look really nice from the inside. Um, so as you can see, when you walk in here, this is what I'm offering to the guest at the vet clinic right now. And it's one of those where I'm like, I'm sorry, but, oh, I guess this is one of the rooms. Um, I'm sorry, but I'm not sorry. 
This is the vet room where we would do more of our exams. So it's just kind of a work in progress as everything is right now, but uh, I'm, you know, I'm happy with it overall. So I'm trying to think, I guess we can go upstairs. Next is really the best option. Um, yeah, going upstairs. So when you get up here, there is just a hallway of doors. Uh, as one does in The Sims 4, we have like a, just our little landing and a bunch of doors. So as you go forward, this is actually going to be uh, Ridge's room, our uh, like adopted son basically through River. Our stepson, there we go. That's what I should say. Um, our son nonetheless, though. I am a stepchild myself, so I hold a lot of love in my heart for my step family. Um, so anyways, anywho... <laughs> This is, uh, I, I say that and then I show you this absolutely pathetic setup that I have for Ridge. And look, that's just because that's how everyone's room looks. Uh, in fact, Mantis, our heir, I'll show you his room. Arguably, it's worse. So, um, yeah, that's pretty sad. I mean, we do have some curtains looking very lovely with the curtains, but yeah, um, it, we're, we're kind of lacking, I won't lie. So off to the left here is mom and dad's room. Little Maeve and River have this beautiful space and I absolutely love, again, oh, I think I just zoomed in. That scared me. I was like, what did I just do? Um, I love the big windows and like just all the windows in general that we have. So we got a lot of windows going on. I tried to make sure that there was like a lot of natural light um, I'm just going to show it off from the other side because it's so different, you know, from over here. It's so, it's so different. <laughs> Not really. Um, I'm just being silly. I'm sorry. I'm going to take screenshots everywhere though. For the gram. I've been really bad at, at catching Instagram back up actually on like what's going on with our family. So I, I'm so sorry. I've been really horrible about that. But if you're here, then you know. Um, so in here is what I would call the playroom. And it's like a matching wallpaper to what the parents have, except the light version. The parents' bedroom, of course, was like much more moody, broody, uh, thoughts, adult adult thoughts. And, and I mean that in the most like depressed way. Um, because being an adult sucks. Uh, it sucks so hard. Um, <laughs> I had to clarify that because... Anyways, um, so in here, light, airy vibes for the playroom and computer room, if you will. We've got the stuffed animal off to the side here. Um, just, you know, trying to keep it fun and light for the, the family here. Um, I'm trying to, like, this chair is kind of in a weird spot. Okay, that's that's not bad. I'll, I'll take that. Again, with the screenshots, I'm just out here, like, screenshot things. Okay, our last room is Mantis's room. I'm going to show you guys the basement in like normal cam. Uh, again, there's literally nothing in here. I took a screenshot of it though. Um, this is it. This is his room right now. Like your fingerprints are on the wall, my guy. You've got beautiful uh, windows and then a whole lot of nothing going on. So I hate that for you, but I love this house so much for us. Um, my camera is like way up on the, the scene because of the tab mode. I'm trying to zoom out. Um, but yeah, this is the house from the outside. If um, you are just tuning into this video and you have not really, I, I don't know, because I, I feel like in the speed build, I was very much just laying furniture out. Um, and I built this shell in my own time because I'm very particular and picky, indecisive. Um, it, it was too much. I had to bulldoze a couple times. And so that's that's just kind of what I ended up with for the house. And I don't know. I like it. It's giving a uh, coastal farmhouse to me. Okay, so back to what I was trying to say, though, about the basement. 
we're gonna look at this together really quick. There's not a whole lot down here, so we're just gonna kind of look at it together. We have a little area for the chest table when you walk down here, and then we also have the punching bag and a couple, you know, little decorative items off here. Then we do have the setup for our wine nectar collectoring, nectar collectoring. Um, then we do have our plant area as well. I tried to make sure that like we just were able to make a little bit of money this way because right now um, I cannot afford fencing. I cannot afford for us to have like a separate greenhouse, which I was going to do a greenhouse like very close, like maybe right here or something very close. I learned my lesson. Um, I said that or I say that. I say I learned my lesson, but it's very possible I could do that again in the future and it's just poor choices were made. Um, but we do have these like trees that are debug off in the back just to kind of, I don't know, I wanted to fluff up the lot just a smidge without cluttering it because we are obviously going to add some things here and there. So we have bushes and I don't know. I think that it looks really cute. I hope you guys like it. Um, if you are new to my channel, definitely feel free to binge our new series here. I do have some old series on my channel, but they're all discontinued at this point because life just kind of took a turn for not having time for a little while. So that's why we're back with the Maeve, Maeve, the Maeve family kind of. Maeve Murphy is our, our founding heir and she's like still with us so it's definitely a good time to, to kind of get get in and um, I don't know. I'm not that exciting. I'm pretty boring probably but I love playing The Sims so <laughs> I hope you guys are doing good out there. Um, I can't hear myself very well so I think I'm probably yelling but take care. Uh, yeah take care. Absolutely take care in this crazy world and I will catch y'all in the next one. Bye!